Hi Capricorn, welcome to the card spread, having a look to see how your relationship will be, any obstacles that the two of you will face, and of course what they're wanting from you. So let's do another eight cards first to have a look how your relationship will be when you come together. Okay, the Ace of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, the Chariot, the Four of Wands, the Three of Swords, and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, starting off at the top left, the Ace of Pentacles here, Capricorn. This is an offer of longevity. This is stability. This is a long-term relationship that looms ahead for you. It also rules finance. I mean, you do rule over the pentacles, so I think looking at the cards here, unless you're dealing with a fellow Capricorn, a Taurus, or Virgo, you're definitely dominating in this reading. So you're definitely dominating the relationship here. So look, there is, I almost feel like you're offering a lot to the partner, to your partner. I think there's a lot of generosity coming from you, Capricorn. I think you're willing to redeem yourself. You're willing to be very generous you're willing to do things a little bit out ordinary a little bit out of the norm for you so I feel like this person is evoking different kinds of emotions within you but I definitely see you placing a lot of offerings now for some you do have the four of ones which can be seen as a marriage card this can be seen as a ring or a token or a talisman of your union or a commemorating your love for each other so for some of you this can absolutely be an engagement ring coming up with the ace of pentacles as well so this is very exciting it could also indicate the two of you collaborate in a business sense um, and make money together because you do have the family card of income and legacy and joint ventures as well coming up with the ten of pentacles so now the next card over is the six of pentacles this is the scales this is generosity but sometimes this is one-sided generosity or something going on that's very one-sided and the other person isn't included in as much because what I'm also seeing is the three of swords with the three of ones I feel like your biggest obstacle coming up with this person is you being too generous or them being too generous with their time money effort commitment love and it's more one-sided so I feel like sometimes there's not much reciprocity that's going on. You want reciprocity because the scales are here. But my question to you is, do you, is it in you to work through this? Is it in this other person to work through it? Because I see it's going to prove challenging. There's also like, I feel like it could be other priorities that come into play. You know, it isn't always someone else, another person with a three of swords. It can be like a career or a creative pursuit or just another hobby or something that sort of comes into the picture here and suddenly takes away effort or devotion or time um, away from a relationship. And this is what I think can happen with the six of pentacles. Um, I am seeing that one of you will be in a position one of one of you will be in a position of authority in this relationship more so than the other and I feel like the other will be you know trying to make the most out of what this other person is giving so I do think it's you Capricorn I do think you're calling the shots in a lot of way um, this person can be a little bit more submissive in nature so maybe this is why the next card over is the ten of pentacles it is a card of family it is a card of children um, animals pets happy family homes income legacies for some of you you will be moving in together I do see this beautiful castle here and what looks like a happy family unit so for some of you you're establishing a life with this person that could very well involve marriage engagements merging of children having children merging of families etc some of you might also be um, start to take part in a family business that this person may have um, or you may start a family business or a joint business venture with this person with the Ten of Pentacles absolutely here. Um, I feel like if you're meeting this person's family or their friends, I think you're going to be very well accepted by them. I think there'll definitely be a lot of time um, spent with these people. You know, it's very much a part of this person's world. Again, I feel it's more their family. So I think I, I feel those that are meeting their, this person's family, um, I think you'll be very well received within the family and you'll feel at home. You'll feel a sense of comfort and complacency to be around them. Um, as well but I also see gifts and spoils with the ten of pentacles I feel like it's a lot of money or assets I feel like you may be earning some sort of finance um, some sort of money or dividends through your partnership somehow so say for example you might find a partner um, and this person you know this person's parents has an investment property and any money generated from this investment property goes to the child which then of course is your partner type thing so just just putting a scenario out there for some of you um, 
but it could be buying uh, assets and together, cars, homes, um, etc., investing in businesses. Okay, the three of wands is here. This is all about the distant future. Um, just quickly, it could rule travel and movement and relocation, but I honestly feel like this person is going to be in your life for a long time coming. Even if the two of you don't have your happily ever after, I feel as though they're going to show up again in your future. Um, I feel like a move, a major move or relocation is on is, is in your destiny with this person with the three of wands. Um, I also feel like there'll always be something in the background here in this relationship that this person holds a lot of value or you hold a lot of value in. So it could be like a career, but there's something else someone else is committed to. And as a result, I feel like it's juggling priorities, which I believe another sign had very similar things. Actually, I forget which one from memory. But there was another sign that had very similar um, obstacles that would be ahead. Um, I also feel like the obstacles lay in the distant future rather than in the near future. So it could come after marriage, after engagements and things. So you might not see it right away, Capricorn. You might have to wait three years, 30 years, you know, um, six years even, the three and the three here. Because you do have, I guess, that would make six and that's six there. So look, you know, it, I feel it's more in the distant future because this is this is a long, long time away. You still have to journey a lot of days, weeks, months until you see these obstacles. So the good thing is that the two of you could be potentially very strong when these obstacles do show up into your relationship. The two of you could have a very solid foundation built on trust, built on equality and built on commitment here. So keep that in mind. Now, moving on, you have the Chariot card. This is the Cancer card of emotion, success, um, astrological compatibility. Um, again, dominance. Someone that's going to be elevated here in the relationship. If it's not you, if you're dealing with a Cancer, it could be them. Emotionally, one of you, I feel like with um, the Chariot card, it's representative of emotions. So one of you will fall quicker or fall harder than the other. Again, one-sided. Eventually the other person will catch up or you'll catch up, but I am seeing that one person is driving this relationship more emotionally or is emotionally more invested in this relationship. But the two of you, again, if there's balance, yin and yang, temperance, balance, moderation, and mutual effort, then you can lead this relationship to success. Um, absolutely. The chariot card is also symbolic of movement. So some of you are relocating and moving in with this person quite quickly is what I'm seeing. Four of Wands is this marriage card. It's a card of celebration, of celebrating happy times, being very social. Some of you will be a very social couple. You'll make new friends. You'll be introduced to a new world. Um, there's lots of uh, attendance, attendances in the form of events, gala nights. Uh, this could be because of your career. This could be of the other person's career. But I feel like there's a lot of socialness around with the Four of Wands. It's also a card of celebrating love or celebrating a union. So I think you'll celebrate many anniversaries together. Possibly even getting ma um, getting engaged and getting married and having a beautiful ceremony here with the Four of Wands. Um, but you'll definitely create a lot of happy, beautiful times with the Four of Wands. This is beautiful memories that you'll treasure for quite some time here in Capricorn. Now the next card over is this Three of Swords. And this is where my concern is, is that there's another person or another thing that's going to throw challenges your way in regards to your relationship. It could be that three different lives are intertwined, three different priorities that someone's trying to juggle, um, conflict in love, trying to reason with your heart, but at the same time listening to your heart. You know, there's the element of swords, which is communication and analytical, um, logical and rational judgment, whereas the heart is desire, it's impulse, it's passion. It's love and it's emotion. And, you know, it's you trying to reason with the two. So I'm wondering why that two is, will there be a situation between the two of you where one of you is ruled more so by logic and reason, whilst the other is driven by desire and love and infatuation? Um, so I think this is also where the two of you may conflict because you could be very different in a way. And if I'd have to say which one you are, Capricorn, you'd probably be the one ruled by um logic and reason and rationale because that's you you're very level-headed you're extremely practical and you're quite sensible when it comes to love you're quite guarded you can be in regards to love because you don't like to get too lost in the moment um so for some of you it is a lover's triangle it could be an ex it could be your ex capricorn there could be two different people around you at the time of this relationship but i am seeing that there's you know someone that's going to suffer head and heart during these obstacles 
Okay, Queen of Pentacles, regardless if you're a male or a female watching this, I definitely feel you've got a lot of judgment. You've got a lot of reign over this relationship with Queen of Pentacles energy. What's beautiful about it is that you'll create a lot in this physical, in the in your physical realm. So buying a house, building a house, renting a place together, buying an asset, going into business together. Um, I almost feel like you're going to have a lot of things that are symbolic of this relationship. So this could be in the form of possessions, maybe. The Queen of Pentacles does rule manifestations. And with this beautiful garden around her, I feel as though this, there's a lot of growth that's going to occur, especially for you. Um, and more so if you are dealing with a fellow earth sign, because the Queen of Pentacles is all about growth and abundance and accumulating lots of experience um, um, and judgments and, and lessons that need to be learnt that are going to help you, that are going to enlighten you, Capricorn. So I like the energy that this is coming up in, in regards to your relationship. Let's have a look and see what they're wanting from you. What is this person wanting from you? Okay, six of swords. Five of swords. King of swords and the nine of wands. Okay, six of swords. They want to grow with you. They want to improve who they are when are as a person. They want to um, change. They want to flourish. They want to be the best version of themselves here with the Six of Swords, and they want you to be a part of that. I feel like they want to evolve in how they talk to people. They want to evolve in their communication, or they want to get better at how they communicate. And I feel like if they're wanting this from you, they want you to be a part of that journey with them with the Six of Swords. I also feel like this person wants to travel or relocate or move with you. So for some, this would make sense if this person does live further away. You know, there's geographical distance that is intervening between the both of you and preventing you from being together every Every day um, but they are wanting improvement so so I see resilience with the six of swords I think the obstacles that will come your way they're wanting growth because they see it as a challenge and I, I feel they'll be able to overcome these challenges with you there's definitely a lot to do with communication. There's three communication cards here, so I think that's very pivotal for this person. The Five of Swords says that this person is wanting a lot of resolution, resolve. Um, they want to be able to work through things. So, you know, they want to set this relationship up to succeed and not to fail. They want to pick up the pieces. They never want to go to bed angry with you. They want to discuss. I feel like it's in a very calm and rational way. Um... If there's any time there's issues between the two of you, they want to be able to talk it through with you um, seriously. And I think this is this is an element of maturity here and wisdom coming from this person. And I think you'll greatly appreciate how they, um, I guess, how they manage themselves when you do encounter those obstacles, so to speak. Um, but they want to know that you, you've got their back when they're upset or when they're angry or they're at a, at a very crucial, sensitive time in their life. They want to know that you're there to pick up the pieces with them. So this is definitely encouragement and support in whatever this person is doing in terms of personal life, in terms of career, etc. Now, moving on the King of Swords, which was those very important, delicate or sensitive conversations that need to take place. Um, they want to be able to work through things with you. And I think this is where, this is where your compatibility lies. So in, um, communication is of high importance to this person. They do want to be able to have frequent communication with you on a daily basis, maybe on an hourly basis. I feel like they feel the most in touch. They feel the most connected to you when they're talking to you, when they're in communication with you, when they're close to you, is what I'm understanding with the king of swords energy nine of wands can be about capricious energy it's also a need for protection so i feel like this person needs to feel protected by you again it's the notion of they want to feel supported they may have had relationships in the past where there was a lack of support for this person's dreams um, life goals there was a lack in support in what this person maybe how they came across to other people they never felt like they were a team they never felt they had someone on their side who would be a champion um, you know, champion their own beliefs, champion their own thoughts, um, and stand, stand up for them, you know, um, validate their opinions and stuff like this. So I think this is very important for them. I do. But look, I will leave it at that, Capricorn. I hope this reading has been insightful. Thank you so much for watching.